So I'm here at the Valiverse headquarters in Rhode Island for a week, helping Bobby get ready for Joe Fest 2023, aka Valicon. And I thought I'd give you guys your first look at the most highly anticipated exclusive figure of the entire show, the Valiverse Action Force Warpath Eclipse. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. So let's kick things off with the packaging, which is hands down the most dynamic and eye-catching box design that Valiverse have created so far for their Action Force line. The colour scheme used on the packaging perfectly suits the character, and it has this really cool looking Native American pattern running down each side of the box, with the Action Force logo printed in bold blood red. The design on the back of the packaging also looks terrific, and is unique to the line due to the usual cross cell being replaced by this awesome image of the figure with a silhouette of her profile in the background. We also have Eclipse's file card at the bottom, which offers detailed information on the character's military background. This tribal packaging design also wraps around the right side of the box, while the left side features this awesome watercolour artwork that was created by artist Polina Zavadina. Now let's take a look at the figure, and this is one badass looking Action Force chick. With a colour scheme featuring deep dark browns and forest greens with black and grey accents, this version of Eclipse's uniform is in stark contrast to the brighter uniform that she wore for her standard issue release in Series 3. The first thing that will jump out on you on this figure is the amazing war paint adorning her beautiful face. In addition to the war paint we also have this highly detailed tribal tattoo that runs up the full length of her arm and across the top of her shoulder. And when I say it runs up the full length of her arm, that means every articulated section of the arm, including her elbow joint. Valiverse didn't cheap out here and design the tattoo to deliberately avoid the arm joints, unlike what the Hasbro team did when they designed the G.I. Joe classified rock and roll figure. In the weaponry department, Warpath Eclipse carries a modified assault rifle, and while we will be getting more of these rifles in future Action Force weapon and gear packs, the release of this figure signifies its first appearance in the line. This is also the first figure in the Action Force range to come supplied with six rifle magazines, with Valiverse offering three steel mags and three plastic mags, so you have the option to change these up in your display. Another weapon being introduced to the Action Force line for the first time is Eclipse's pistol, which gives off some Tomb Raider vibes, with its nickel-plated muzzle contrasting nicely against the black slide. Eclipse also carries two bladed weapons, in the form of a Karma and the Kuma Protector knife that first came with Pandora in Series 3. I don't feel the need to go over the figure's articulation in this video, as it has the same impressive posability as all the other female figures in the line, but if you're not yet familiar, I do cover this articulation in detail in my Action Force Series 3 video, and you'll find a link to that video in the description below. As with all Action Force figures, Warpath Eclipse comes with a staggering amount of accessories, including all the different hand options you've come to expect from Valiverse. Yet this is the first figure in the line to come with three different head options. We have the determined looking face with the war paint that I mentioned previously. We get a head wrapped in her shamar, which is now coloured in a deep blue as opposed to the tan pattern shamar that came with the original release. And last, but certainly not least, we have the expressive head that I have dubbed Warpath's War Face. Now let me see your war face! Ah! While Pandora is designer Bobby Valor's personal favourite Action Force character, and she remains an extremely popular figure from Valiverse's Series 3 all-female wave, the original Eclipse was the sleeper hit of the series, and she sold out very, very quickly, so it was a wise choice to select this character as the first exclusive figure for 2023. This is far, far more than a simple repaint of the first version of Eclipse. The original figure had sleeved arms, whereas this figure uses Pandora's bare arms, which feature the wraps around her hands and wrists. And let's not forget all the firsts you get with this figure, such as the unique packaging design, the brand new firearm accessories, and of course, that stunning, expressive war face. Without question, this figure is the must-have exclusive item available at this year's Joe Fest Toy and Comic Convention. And if you've been on the fence about attending this year, then I highly recommend heading over to the Joe Fest website and purchasing your convention tickets today. Because if you're an Action Force fan, you'll definitely regret missing out on this stunning action figure. You can pick her up at the show for $31.99, so swing by the Valiverse booth and say hello to me and Bobby while you're there. We'd love to meet you. This version of Eclipse almost looks like a Nightops version of the character, one that is stalking her prey through a dark forest 
on a mission of revenge. Prowling stealthily through the undergrowth, Eclipse is not on a mission to capture or detain the enemy. She is ready to wipe them out with all the ferocity of a hardened tribal warrior. So either add it to your collection or get out of the way because Eclipse is on the warpath.